Prove that the sum of the factors EL, BM and CN is parallel to another factor CK, where K is a point on the segment AB that divides it in the ratio 1 is to 3. And we have three other points L, M and N. These three points divide the size BC, CN and AB of the triangle ABC in the following ratios. Okay, let us begin. So first, let's try to sketch the triangle ABC. Now, we're going to represent the vertices of the triangle ABC with three position vectors. We're going to denote the position vector of the vertex A as A vector, position vector of the vertex B with B vector, and position vector of the ve vertex C with C vector. This means that we have a coordinate system whose origin is at O. So, the position vector of the vertex A simply means that we Draw a vector joining point O and point A with the vector direction from O towards A. Similarly, we can define the position vector of vertex B and C as a vector joining point O and point B and point O and point C respectively with the vector directed towards each of the two vertices. Now, it's given here that L, M, N, these are three points along the sides B, C, C, A and A, B of the triangle. We'll start with the first point. So, L is going to Divide the side PC in the ratio 1 is to 4. So here we're going to consider a point uh, L on the segment BC and it divides BC in the ratio 1 is to 4. Then we have another point M. M is going to be on the side CA of the triangle and it divides it in the ratio 3 is to 2. So let's say this is the point M. So M is going to divide the side BC in the ratio 3 is to 2. And then finally, we have the uh, point N on the side AB of the triangle, which divides it into ratio 3 is to 7. So let's say this is the point. We call it point N, and it divides AB in the ratio 3 is to 7. Now what we'll do? We'll join uh, AL, BM, and CN. So we have the side AL, BM, and CN. Now, uh, before proceeding forward, so here we have already mentioned that A vector, B vector, and C vector represents the uh, position vector of the vertices A, B, and Z of the triangle ABC. This means that if we join point O and A, so OA vector is going to correspond to the vector A. OB vector is going to correspond to the vector B, and OC vector is going to correspond to the vector C. We're going to label this as number 1. Similarly, we can define the position vector of the point L, M, and N. So, the position vector of point L will be, that's going to be given by OL vector. Now, what we'll do, we'll try to find out the position vector OL, uh, because we're here, point L divides BC in the ratio 1 is to 4. We can apply the section formula as it is getting divided internally, meaning since L divides BC in the ratio 1 is to 4 inter internally, the OL vector will be defined as, all we have to do is use the section formula. So we'll consider the 1. 1 will get multiplied with OC vector. So we have 1 times OC vector added to 4 times OB vector. We have 4 times OB vector divided by 1 plus 4. So that's going to give us OC vector plus 4 times OB vector divided by 5. Now, what is our C vector? We have already defined that's the uh, vector C. So we have C vector added to 4 times OB vector. OB vector will be B vector divided by 5. Now, let's call it number 2. So, we have OL vector. Now that we have OL vector and we already have OA vector, we can find out the vector AL. So, let's try to find out uh, now. AL vector, this is going to be simply defined by take the position vector OL and from it subtract the position vector OA. That's by definition. The OL vector, we obtain that its value is C vector plus 4B vector divided by 5 minus OA vector. So that's going to be the vector A. The simplifier, so that's going to give us C vector plus 4B vector minus 5 times A vector divided by 5. Uh, this is our vector A. Uh, we're going to label this as number 3. We're going to use this. Now, going to the next point M. M divides the side CA in the ratio 3 is to 2. So here again, we can use the, the internal section formula to obtain the position vector OM. Uh, that means our vector 
OM. So here we have the point of origin O. The OM vector is going to be equals to, so we take 3 and multiply it to the vector A. So we get 3A vector added to, we have 2 times the position vector of point C, so the C vector. So we have uh, 2 times the vector C divided by 3 plus 2. So that gives us 3A vector plus 2C vector divided by 5. Now we will try to try to find out the vector BM. Now the vector BM or this will be simply equals to the so we take the position vector of the point M and subtract it from the position vector of the vertex B. The OM vector that's 3A vector add to 2C vector divided by 5 minus OB vector will be simply the vector B and that's going to give us 3A vector plus 2C vector minus 5b vector divided by 5. So let's label this. We already use equation number 3. So this is going to be number 4. Right. And then finally we have the point n divide eb into ratio 3 is to 7. The on vector will be simply equals to we will take 3 and multiply it with the position vector point b to get 3b vector. Add it to we'll take 7 and 7 will get multiplied with the Position vector of vertex A to get give us 7A vector divided by 3 plus 7. So that's going to be uh, 10. So that we have 3B vector plus 7A vector divided by 10. And then we will use it to obtain the vector CN. So CN vector will be simply equals to ON vector minus OC vector. The ON vector will be equals to 3b vector plus 7a vector divided by 10 minus c vector let's combine it to get we have a common denominator of 10 and then in the numerator we have 7a vector plus 3b vector minus 10c vector and we're going to label this number 5. now we have al vector we have bm vector and we have cn vector we're going to add 3 4 and 5. Uh, let's try to uh, first, simplify the first uh, term. So here we'll try to make the numerator 10. All we need to do is multiply both numerator and the denominator with 2. That's going to give us negative 10 a vector plus 2 times 4b will be 8b vector plus 2 times c vector divided by 10. Similarly, we'll make the denominator of the second term 10. So here we have 10 in the denominator and in the numerator we have 6a vector minus 10b vector plus 4c vector for the third term we keep it as it is we have 7a vector plus 3b vector minus 10c vector all divided by 10. now we can combine the three terms so we have a common denominator of 10 the so negative 10a plus 6a so that's going to be negative 4a negative 4a added to 7a so that's going to be 3a vector then we have 8b minus 10b, so that's negative 2b. Negative 2b plus 3b will be positive vector b. And our 2c plus 4c, that's uh, 6c. 6c vector minus 10c vector will be negative 4c vector. So this is the vector, al vector plus bm vector plus cn vector. Okay, fine. We're going to keep it aside for the time being and let's call it number 6. We are not done yet. We have only obtained the sum now. We have to show that the sum of these three vectors, we have to show that this is parallel to the vector CK, where CK is going to be such that the K is a point of the segment AB that divides it into ratio 1 is to 3. Okay, so let's use the triangle. So here we have another point K on the side AB, and it divides AB into ratio 1 is to 3 internally, which means that we can now define OK vector. The OK vector, the position vector of the point K, so that will be equals to 1 will get multiplied with the position vector of B. So we have 1 times B vector added to 3 times the position vector of the vertex A, all divided by 1 plus 3. That will be equals to 3 times A vector plus B vector divided by 4. Fine. Using this, we can find out CK vector. So CK vector will be OK vector minus OC vector. The OK vector, so that's 3A vector plus B vector, whole divided by 4 minus OC vector, so that's simply the vector C. 
that will be equals to 3a vector plus b vector minus 4 times c vector divided by 4. Now, this is equation number 7. Almost done. Now, we will be rewriting equation number 6. We found out that the sum of the three vectors, al plus bm plus cn vector, so that's equals to 3a vector plus b vector minus 4c vector divided by 10. But what we'll do, we'll divide by 4 instead, and we'll have to multiply by 4 to take care of, to take care of that extra 4, and then we divide 4 by 10. And this has been done because now we can replace 3a vector plus b vector minus 4c vector divided by 4 with number 7, that means ck vector. So we obtain that this is equals to 4 tenth of the vector ck. Now 4 over 10 is simply a scalar. Now we have obtained that since al vector plus bm vector plus cn vector equals to some scalar lambda times ck vector. Where, where lambda equals 4 over 10 or 2 over 5. That this simply means that this simply tells us that the sum of the vectors al plus bm plus cn vector is parallel to is parallel to the vector ck. We have successfully proved the problem.